Webin FC TV with Adam Hinchwood in a pretty darkly lit Concord Rangers stadium following a one all draw in the National South. Adam, your thoughts on the game? Um, no, yeah, it was a, obviously a good game for us. I thought we, we uh, implemented our game plan well, we moved the ball well. Um, lots of possession, lots of chances, lots of crosses. Um, yeah, but just disappointed to only come away with a point if we're being honest. So there's a lot of chances, as you said, a lot of crosses in particular. Is there any chances in there that you're particularly disappointed? And there were quite a few big ones that were missed from uh, pretty good chances. No, yeah, and that's a positive, um, you know, that we're creating the kind of chances that we are uh, in the last two games. Um, I think if you uh, do the stats on um, goal scoring opportunities and um, you know, crosses that we're putting in, it would be very high. Um, same with possession. So, like I say, lots, lots of pleasing stuff, lots to be positive with. But um, you know, with ten games in now, I think it's five wins, five draws, and I think you know we're a bit, a bit disappointed. We feel like we've um, dropped points um, in in a number of those games, um, which again is a positive and something that we got to work hard to try and put right. When you look at those draws. In particular, is there any games there that, that stand out to you that were ones that could have turned into wins? Um, yeah, I think Dover at home, definitely. Obviously, missed the penalty on that day, um, and these two last away games. Um, and I think they're really good opportunities, in my opinion, to to win to win the game. Um, even even um, um, I forget who we played now. Team from like Swindon, way. Who is it? I can't remember. Chippenham. Chippenham, Chippenham, even that game I think you know, we created a lot of chances and did take them. So yeah, it's um it's frustrating. I think the players are frustrated. Um but yeah, like I say, we can't um be too despondent. We've just gotta keep on working and, and and try and put it right. It also is is a positive obviously that there's a lot of chances being made and there were good chances. There was actually a goal disallowed early on as well, so Yep. Some felt that wasn't offside. No, I think we looked at it back and it's very, very close. You know, yeah. if the uh, linesman's 100% sure on that, then you know he's uh, very good. But I th yeah, I think it's it's a close one. So yeah, it, like I say, it is what it is. I think them sort of things even himself up. We can't be reliant on on that. I think we still had more than enough chances um, throughout the game to put the game to bed. Um, in my opinion, we should be coming in at three 0 at half time. Um, some kill edge chance. Obviously, Ollie's won six yards out and. It's an awkward height, but I think he's just got to head it into the goal personally. But um, it is what it is, like I say, lots of positives, lots to be pleased about, um, but a little bit frustrated at the same time. Uh, but one thing we have got is a group of players that will tirelessly work and, and try and put it right. There were a few changes today actually, it was a slightly rotated squad. Yeah. Cam Keeley was missing, Aaron yep. Seam was missing. Is there any update on those guys and yeah, why they were out? Just Cal's got a bit of concussion, so hoping it's nothing too bad. He um, just got a little blow to the head on, on Saturday, so we're still sort of monitoring him and the protocol that goes with that. Um, Aaron's got a slight calf nick, so um, didn't want to risk him for tonight. Um, but yeah, like I say, players get opportunity. Um, but Adam Adam looks really exciting when he come on. Um, again, had a couple of chances that would be very disappointed with. Um, you know, especially when he hits the post. You know, he's probably still. I know what he's like. He's very harsh on himself. Um, you know, his own biggest critic. But um, you know, lots, lots, lots of good, good things happened. Lots of positive. And I think to still come away from home and rotate like we did shows the, the quality in the squad that we have got. There were a lot of young players as well. Uh, Mo Shabar is obviously yep. a from Crawley. How do you think he's got on so far since he's come back in? Yeah, not too bad. I thought he'd done a good assist for, for the goal um, tonight. Um, but yeah, just again, hasn't played loads of football and started cramping up a bit, I think, uh, after about an hour. Um, you know, Lewis is. Is, is coming up to speed as well. Danny Bach, I thought, had his best game for us this season. Um, and, and Sammy and Kane have been excellent. Um, you know, can play tight centre back alongside Dan Bowery tonight and give Joe a bit of a rest. Um, you know, so it's, 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 it's brilliant. It's lot, lot, like lots of positive stuff, and you can change shape and you can be flexible with it and you can have freedom with it. And the lads still can kind of perform like that, two different shapes. Um, you know, I think we changed again, so there's like four different formations they've been asked to play in two games and you know, they still give the level of performance they do, so you know, full full credit to them for um, taking on board and implementing it out on the pitch where it matters.
pull it back to that defence and it was probably the lowest point of the game today, the injury to Joel Colbran. Um, a few mixed words said about it, some worrying it's serious, some hoping it's a bit of a stinger. What's the update on it? And yeah, I think it? he panicked a little bit. Um, felt very sore to start off with initially, but the good thing is he walked off the pitch there putting weight on it. So, you know, hoping it's not as serious as he first thought. Um, so, yeah. Um, Shouldn't shouldn't be too long, I would imagine. Joel's a you know, hard on character. He uh, take more than a little kick to keep him off the pitch. So um, yeah, I'm hoping he'll be alright for Saturday. And looking ahead to Saturday, was anything from tonight in particular that's a positive to take into Saturday, or anything you've learnt? No, like I say, in the last two games, the the possession, the different formations, the chances we created, uh, the crosses we got in the box, um, the bodies in the box, um, has been very very good um, just that end bit uh, where it really matters and you know it's it's probably the difference between us having nine wins now and only five um, but yeah we've got to just keep on keep on working on it and um, hopefully you know, we get players that get a little bit of confidence and um, start hitting the target first uh, be a start and then we can hopefully start turning some of these um, good performances into wins